story can be better understood with a brief recounting of the curious premises from which it finds its beginning. I'm Louisa, the other one, the one that things happen to. I walk through my neighborhood and I pause. at the oak tree in my neighbor's yard. When my mind wanders, I focus my thoughts on the sound of the snow crunching. It's easier that way. News of Felisa reaches me by mail, or I see her name on a list of academics, or in some phone book. I envy her ability to embrace the near stagnant routines of daily life. My taste runs to pianos, maps, pencils and pens, the taste of sassafras, warmth from the sound of book pages, and the prose of Jorge Luis Borges. Luisa shares those preferences, but in a vain sort of way, it turns them into the accoutrements of <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that our relationship is hostile. I live, I allow myself to live, so that Louisa can spin her story out into time. And that story is my justification. I willingly admit that she has done a fair job thus far. The days of the past will not save me. Perhaps because the love in them no longer belongs to any individual. Not even to that other woman. But rather to the past itself. Or to tradition. Beyond that, I am doomed. Utterly and inevitably to oblivion. And fleeting moments will be all of me that survives my other self. The visible one. For Louisa, I know. Little by little, I have been turning everything over to her, though I know the way she has of distorting and magnifying everything. I shall endure in Louisa, not in myself, if indeed I am anybody at all. But I recognize myself less in her story than in many others, or in the melancholy tone of the piano. Years ago, I tried to free myself from her. While playing in the woods, I thought to escape into a life written only by imagination. But those games all belong to Louisa now, and I shall have to think of other things. My life is a point, a counterpoint, a kind of fugue in the falling away. And everything winds up being lost to me. And everything falls into oblivion, into the hands of her, the other woman. I'm not sure which one of us it is that's telling this story.